Meta just made a move straight out of sci-fi, except it's real. This isn't a teaser for the next big sci-fi blockbuster. It's not a concept video or a moonshot demo. It's real. It's here. And it might just be the boldest leap yet into a future where AI doesn't just assist you, it thinks for you. Meet Area 2, Meta's latest creation that looks like a pair of glasses but acts like something much more profound. If you're picturing another slick wearable that counts your steps or buzzes with notifications, think again. Area 2 doesn't stop at convenience. These glasses are built to understand your environment, interpret it in real time, and even make cognitive leaps that used to belong exclusively to your brain. Let's not sugarcoat this. Meta didn't just release a new gadget. They unleashed a research platform that pushes AI into uncharted territory, embedded directly into how you live, move, and perceive the world around you. Brilliant? Terrifying? Inevitable? Maybe all three. But here's what matters. Area 2 isn't just watching. It's learning. Fast. Before you dismiss this as hype or another over-marketed prototype, consider this. The tech behind Area 2 is already operational. Researchers at Georgia Tech have mounted it on robots, not in simulation, but in the real world. Those robots are being trained to move like us, decide like us, think like us. No scripts, no line-by-line -line instructions, just observation, interpretation, and autonomous action. You're looking at a pair of glasses that can map your environment, track your hands in 3D, follow your gaze, and understand the objects you're interacting with. It knows where you're headed, what you're touching, even how you're feeling. Yes, it tracks your heart rate, too. This isn't just AI. This is AI syncing to your body's rhythm. This is what Meta calls human-centric computing. Translation? Technology that doesn't just watch you. It mirrors you. Now pause and think about that shift. For decades, we've programmed machines, gave them commands, told them what to do. But with Area 2, machines are watching us, learning from us, and deciding for themselves how to respond. The glasses are the translator between human instinct and machine logic. That invisible boundary between you and your tech? It's dissolving. Let's be clear, this isn't something you can order online. Area 2 isn't a product, it's a research-grade tool. But the fact that it already works this well, that's the headline. Because what starts in the lab never stays in the lab. Area 2 is Meta's blueprint for a new phase of AI, one where machines understand not just your voice, but your behavior, your glance, your hesitation, your habits. A world where technology doesn't wait for your command, it anticipates it. And when machines can do that, when they can respond in real time to your every move, they stop being tools, they become cognitive extensions. Need directions? It leads you. Picked the wrong product? It corrects you. Lost in thought? It's already two steps ahead. This is more than smart glasses. This is autonomy that operates on your behalf. AI that guides you as if it already knows what you're looking for. You speak, it acts. You move, it adapts. You stop noticing the interface because you are the interface. Meta calls the project ARIA, but let's call it what it really is, the first prototype of an AI system that could one day outthink you in your own daily decisions, because it's being trained to do exactly that. And that brings us to the question we all need to ask. Is this just the future of convenience or the beginning of something we can't control? Let's dive in. A woman wearing glasses stands in front of the checkout counters in a grocery store holding a basket on her arm. Sharon Giovinazzo, CEO, Lighthouse for the Blind and Visually Impaired San Francisco. You know, it's one of those things that you don't know what you got till it's gone. And that was kind of the case with my vision when I lost it at 31. She navigates through the grocery store. The challenges that we face, you know, just simply with visual navigation, you lose a level of independence with that. She holds the leash of a service dog while walking towards an aisle. Karthik Mahadevan, CEO, 
in vision for a lot of people who are blind and have a low vision independence almost always meant access to information a pair of glasses separates to reveal each individual component aria enables us to combine technologies like artificial intelligence and spatial audio that make the visual world accessible for people who are blind or have a low vision it was amazing to see how a lot of our feedback was incorporated in building a gen to device and also by keeping accessibility as one of the focus points prince gupta research product manager meta this is a truly collaborative effort between envision lighthouse san francisco and meta prince and others gather around a laptop computer inside the grocery store we really want to go out and co-design with the community and try to learn from their experience They actually want to try out these technologies they're really excited Sharon and Prince speak to one another in the produce section Sharon has been testing these features giving us early feedbacks GPS just doesn't work indoors we need a different mapping and navigation technology Owen Brimay join research scientist reality labs research meta usually when you listen to sounds over headphones they'll sound like they're inside your head Spatial audio is a technology that lets you play sounds over headphones that seem like they're coming from a real location out in the world. And all you have to do is follow that sound. Sharon walks through the grocery store wearing the glasses. You put the glasses on and you just talk to it like you talk to a friend. Hey Meta, help me pick up some apples. Certainly. Follow the sound to locate the apples in the store. Sharon follows the sound. It'll start playing a beacon sound from the location within the store. The glasses can actually map as they are being used. We can allocate different points and label it with items that should be there in that space. Sharon approaches bins filled with apples. Apples are here. You can ask any kind of a question. What apples are here? They have Granny Smith, Cosmic Crisp, and Honey Crisp apples. I'll get Granny Smith apples. Help me pick up red onions. Taking you to red onions. Sharon and her service dog walk towards the sound. They reach the onions. Red onions are here. Is this a red onion? She holds up an onion in front of the glasses. Yes, this is a red onion in your hand. Just to have the freedom to walk into a grocery store and navigate to what I wanted. It was efficient, it was fast. It was just amazing. That's all I need today. Take me to the checkout counter? Sure. guiding you to the checkout. Sharon hands her basket to the employee at the checkout counter. This isn't ready to ship out the door the second. But what's exciting is for how many people this appears to be working really well. Without these partners, we would have not been able to do what we did today. The employee hands Sharon her bag of groceries. Thank you. Have a great day. When we look at someone like Sharon, pick the groceries that she wants on her own. That emotion is incredible. 